Hi everyone, I'm back for another pick a card. This time it's all about the next big transformation about to occur in your life. What is about, I think the best, another way to phrase it would be uh, what is about to transform in your life. Maybe not a transformation per se, but maybe it's going to be approaching a specific topic and we're going to try and tap into uh, what your energies are so that we can see what could be coming up or what is about to evolve or change and hopefully for the better. So as usual, oh no, no. Why is this thing moving by itself? Ah, oh, you know what it's like. No, you don't know what it's like to be a tarot reader on YouTube. I'm telling you, sometimes the organization and the setup is quite, quite something, quite a challenge. Um, so the timestamps will be down below as usual. And I will start with group one. I just took one card here for with the Sibylla Oracle, the Gypsy Oracle, which is one of my favorites. Okay. Don't touch the thing. We're good to go. Let's go. So number one. Let's try to make some room so that I can put all the cards. Okay, I'm curious because I haven't seen the cards, obviously. Otherwise, this would spoil the fun. Oh, that's so cute. It's about love. Like, no doubt about it. Group one. Um, it's about um, getting to the next level with someone or uh, re rekindling or being able to get in touch and to meet or reunite with a, a, par a love interest. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, thanks for coming in. <laughs> I have nothing much to add. I'm kidding. Let's see what's what more. I want to do the fancy shuffle with those cards, but those are so rigid that um, it's like next I'm going to try, but those are super hard to shuffle the way I can with other decks. Yeah, too rigid. And my desk is doing a yo-yo. I think you might see the thing. Yeah, those are a bit too hard to move. And my desk is sort of not... Um, well aligned to the wall anyway so for group one big transformation so it's definitely about your love life as we've seen depending on where you're at it could mean uh, a couple of things so it could be um, reuniting with someone getting to the next level with an existing relationship you're leaving behind a mediocre relationship so if your past love interests or past relationships were quite crap, I feel that the one that's coming in or the, the one that the person you, that you might be interested in is a, a, a good person, like it's a keeper, like we say. Um, I feel you might have also been um, dealing with someone. It might be you or the person. Um, you might have been dealing with people that were very possessive or because here the spy uh, card really for me talks about having being in relationships with people um i mean like um with a person but maybe it's something a pattern you're repeating with people that were over controlling over you and that just wanted to stalk everything you were doing like where are you like texting you and kind of wanting to know everything and kind of turning into a sort of private investigator to know what the hell you were doing so i think your relationship maybe your relationship lacked um a form of trust and proper intimacy You could be a Leo. Um, they say Taurus, but for me, passion is more about Leo energy, um, fire energy. So Leo, Sagittarius, or um, Aries. Uh, could be Aries, too, in the mix here. But it seems that you're a very passionate person, and I think you're a free thinker, and that's why relationship maybe always end up like not working out because you need to be with someone that leaves you enough space to be free and that also respects like the, your need to just 
be around people it doesn't mean that you're you're cheating around but you need space you need to be able to breathe and you need your freedom yeah, exactly you like to travel you like to to move leo you see I don't know, that's what i was speaking you like moving it maybe not be traveling per se maybe you enjoy like going on trips but i think you need a, a person that will be flexible enough with you to let you do your thing trust you and just go with the flow you might be actually um well known in uh, a domain or maybe you're you're about to meet someone that's well known in a domain i feel more you you might be like famous or have some sort of visibility and you need space you need to be someone to be flexible with your job with what you do um i think it's not going to be like the typical um you need like you're not going to be able to you'll never work it through with a sort of plain typical relationship because you're on the road, you're doing this, you're doing that. There are things that you want to be working on. And I feel that you need a partner that will be able to adjust to that. And I think that's your, what you're manifesting. Yeah. You're actually about or already, if it's confirmation, manifesting or being with someone, like being in touch with someone that is like ticks all your boxes. Like Aries, you see, I was a lot of fire here. Um, someone that will let, that would trust you enough, like trust trust you enough 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 that will trust you enough to let you do your thing and be there and a very autonomous sort of relationship oh god i can't be making this up huh? love you know it's just on the card you're fa you found your counterpart you found the person that you can vibe with and that will be just the perfect match for you you could be actually wanting to save money so that you can meet them, especially if you're at a distance because the world could, with the travel card, you could be at a distance from them. So you might be saving up to meet them or you might be wanting to go on a trip It's and it's while you're on that trip that you will meet them. But you're definitely manifesting a real good love relationship where you can feel that you're yourself and that, and that the person understands you and... Um, leaves you the space to, to, to just grow and be there for you, but with this, yeah, popularity. I don't know if you're famous or something, or someone is might be famous in this. You might meet somebody that has a sort of status or something, because it's coming out all over your reading, like the star, the ideal, the sun, the world, then we have popularity. So you might be meeting someone that is quite special and maybe in the public eye or something. Unfortunate. I think it's not unfortunate delay, delay. I think this connection is supported by the divine, if you believe in that, or in like your ancestors. But there, there are delay, delays, delays. Oh, no, no, it's hard to pronounce. Delays. It's taking more time than it was supposed to. I know it's not really what we want to hear. Yeah, because I think you or this person still has stuff to work through when it comes to maybe finances, a home. Maybe they're building a home, buying a home, investing in some sort of thing or having issues in the home, in the family. And this comes before the, everything else. It's like, you know, when you think everything is clearing out and then boom, the little shit that comes right around the corner so that you have to, you know, deal with it and you lose time on the on, on your projects and it delays your reunion with the person you, you love. It, it's, it's, it's like that. Yeah, it's about... Um, Working on your finances also, maybe if you're really in wanting to make a living or, you know, your career is taking off and you fall in love, but, you know, you're going to you're gonna have to prioritize, like, money has to come first. Then when the money's kind of coming in, we can start focusing more on our love life. It seems it's a bit in those lines. That's very interesting. What is the message here? What is the advice from spirit? Let me clear that out. I love those cards because actually there's they are to the freaking point. I should use them more. If you start hearing music, by the way, it's the fourteenth of July as I'm recording. Um, and here are, in France, 14th of July is a bit like the Americans' 4th of July. So there's music, there might be also um, fireworks if it's not too windy tonight. 
empath, you may be confusing other people's energy with your own. Entrepreneur. Be the, on the outlook for exciting business opportunities. So, yeah, I think you might be working on something. Or the person you're dealing with is also working on their finances. They might be highly empathic. You might be too. And I feel that in this setup, um, the reunion will occur, but money and fine, emotional also stability and being able to not be kind of absorbed by other people's problems, especially if you have issues within the family and you feel that you have to be there to save the day and save everybody, is sort of getting out of this mindset. Yeah, you see, you need to rest. Find a way to calm the waters of your mind. Yeah. So it's it's a transition phase, and I think you would wish to spend more time with your loved one. Uh, like, I mean, the person that you love in your heart, or you're really maybe fantasi not, fantasizing is not the right word. You might be on the outlook for, on the lookout, sorry, to find like the one, you know, the, the person that's going to be so good to you and that you're going to love so, so, so purely, so kindly, you know, but, um, it feels that other things are sort of a, being a priority. You have to prioritize other things, but it feels like whatever the case may be, um, your love life is something that is starting to, um, appear like it, it is becoming apparent that you want to be able to construct to build something when it comes to love to be able to have someone to be with someone to to be in a loving relationship i think don't beat yourself up if it hasn't happened so far because it's gonna happen i think it's already in the works you know even if you don't know the person yet but you did you, you do your best and um there's no right or wrong here and things that are supposed to happen will happen. So don't kind of beat yourself up and kind of twist your brain into pretzels because you would want to be able to like be, you know, rocking on all levels of your life and, you know, be on top of your game in all areas. And the truth is, it's near next to impossible to be just like fully in the work, fully in the family, fully with your partner. And it's okay. Like I say, what is meant will happen, whatever happens. Like, what is meant for you will find you. That's really my personal thought, but um, it's like what's meant to be will be. So don't panic over, oh, you know, like, should I do this? Should I do that? Am I wasting time? Time is ticking out. There's no point in stressing out. Things will unfold at perfect timing, you know. I'm going to see a last message for you. What a piece of advice. For group one, piece of advice. I don't know why I really hear it, it's it's going to be all right. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> Release the tension. It's going to be all right. Don't start panicking or overstressing about things you can't control. It's going to turn out just fine. Don't worry. I have a really good feeling about that. I'm going to take the charms too, so you might have confirmation here too. Advice for group one at this point. Don't worry. This, the connection you're in or you're about to embark, like to be, like to, to be in is, uh, it's someone from your soul family. You might, if you do believe in that, you, it's not the first time you spend with this person. And I think that in a previous lifetime, you were brother and sisters. So if you kind of meet this person and instantaneously you have this sort of bizarre bond where you feel like you kind of know each other, you know, it happens sometimes that doesn't, that wouldn't surprise me at all because I think that in another lifetime, you, you were from the same family, brother or sister or something like this. Can I have another one? And I'm yawning, which is kind of confirming when I yawn, it's usually, um, You might have the same interests, reading manga or books or certain things you, you both like. And I think like in the bedroom, you have the same kinks, like you enjoy, you like the same things. You're really on the same, you really vibe with one another. 
yeah, the star. Equal give and take. And you see, it's reinforcing again. We had also something about being popular. I think the person you're dealing with might be on YouTube, on have like be like on TikTok or have a follower or an audience of some genre. They they shine bright, or you do, or maybe both of you do. But the star is coming back, so it really has to do. And yeah, Knight of Coins. I feel that. The money's gonna come in, in come in if that's what you're worrying about. Don't worry, it's coming in, and this is gonna help you to financiate, yeah, a new a new beginning. The money that's about to come in because you're working for it and you're working towards it is gonna lead you to be able to actually be able to entangle yourself from a situation and possibly move country, move city, so that you can start a new beginning with the person. Yeah, there's something about moving out, changing location here. Yeah, definitely. So the money might make you, allow you to do the changes and do, meet or reunite with the person you, you want to be with that you're seemingly are about to fall in love with or are already in love with. What a beautiful little reading. Let's take the charms. Voilà, dis donc, heavy, hein, heavy, hein, avec tout colote, hein. Aries, Aquarius, Dial, you see contact. I don't know why it's really strongly overseas energy I'm getting. Three, six, six, six. Wow, okay. Guided, you might want to check that out. Three, six, 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 uh, angel number three. 3666 you might get a message that's really for you we have k k b a r q q s d p x e q d e k p a bar you might have met this person in a bar or you maybe you might meet them in a bar Okay. Interesting. Okay, I, that's all I have for you, Group 1. I hope this resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Um, thank you for sharing this time with me, and I'll just get right on with Group 2. Okay, my favorite beautiful gypsy cards. I love those. Alors. For group two and uh, group two, let's discover the cards together. Thought. You chose the card thought. So you, I feel the energy is more about how can you accomplish or put, uh, build something for yourself. And I think it's something that has to do with your career. How can you make it work? I think it has to do with career and finances. You might be really considering all your options to be able to improve, I mean, increase your income. That's what's coming on strong. It could be also things where... Uh, did I take that? Uh, oui. uh, it could also be about um, wanting to pull a contract or making plans um, with family, having to deal with a sort of inheritance, uh, investing in some sort of thing. Let's see. Let, one last shuffle. Might be wanting to launch a business. That could be the it too. Okay. Let's run up. One. End of worries. Revelation. Yeah, you're about to have a sort of aha come to Jesus moment. And it could be also in just you having the idea, you know, the golden opportunity that will really kind of make you take off and um, uh, be able to solve your financial issue if there was. Yeah, you see, there was something about the money that's not quite right. And you're taking steps to be able to change that. 
and you're about to have a sort of miracle happening or a sort of blessing coming coming to you. Tommy, I don't know why I say like coming that turned into Tommy. You might be dealing with somebody called Tom. Tommy. Tommy. Tamara. Yeah, it's really linked to your career. There's a sort of one of a lifetime opportunity that's about to come your way. And it might come in a very unexpected way, in a, in a very unexpected manner. Maybe you'll, you're about to meet a partner, like I mean a work or a sort of business partner that is really out of the box, that doesn't look serious but is actually super serious and super skilled. So you might look at them and think at first sight, like at first glance, uh, this person is, is not being serious, like what the hell is that? Maybe because they dress a bit different or maybe they talk in a certain way or maybe they come from a certain place. Don't, the, the, the main advice for you here is don't judge the book by the cover because this person might look, might look one way but I can guarantee that this person knows what they're doing and they're super good at it. So don't judge the book by the cover, really. Do not do this. And if your business is going through a, a really hard time or you just feel like the work is just like going nowhere, um, keep pushing and not pushing like blindfully and, and, and stupidly in one direction. If it doesn't work, you got to change something. You know, if the recipe is disgusting, you gotta, you have to change the ingredients to change the taste of it. But I feel that you need to keep pushing towards what you want to accomplish. Maybe just changing the approach and changing the approach might um, be the result of you meeting someone or a group of people that will help you kind of change and switch things around. So maybe getting assistant, uh, assistance from someone, hiring people. I know if you're already broke and you're like, you know, I don't have money and you're asking me to hire like experts that, you know, uh, cost a fortune, but maybe it doesn't have to be super expensive like services maybe it could be just a friend of a friend that i don't know does graphic design and kind of redoes your brand and your branding so that you're more attractive and from that you start like connecting with a group of people they know and then you can start kind of changing the game around and from there is this kind of opportunity that just arises you know out of nowhere so taking those steps seems to be something quite literal that you must do at this point especially if your business is not good looking too good if it's already looking good it's just like getting to the next step and be daring don't be scared be daring break the rules once you know the rules you can break them i think it's picasso that was saying that Let's see, what is the message here for group two? I don't know why I'm getting this. I saw the interview on the CEO, diary, the, what, what is it called again? The Diaries of a CEO. It's a podcast and they have a YouTube channel. And I don't remember the name of the person that was interviewed. It was a, a, a woman from a certain age, blonde, blue eyes, a billionaire that started from nothing, very poor background. And she was mentioning how it was a bit hard when she got with her husband and she started to make much more money than he did. And he was sort of feeling a bit inferior to, to her because, you know, in a more kind of traditional standpoint, you know, the man is supposed to quote unquote earn more than the women. And this can like shake men's ego if the woman makes more money than them. If you're a woman and you kind of feel that resonates with you and a part of you maybe doesn't want to get to the next level because you're scared to uh, actually um, threaten your partner through having more money because money is power. You know, it's, it has a, pa a power dynamic and an impact in a relationship, especially in a love relationship, in a marriage. D don't be scared of that. I mean, if your partner really loves you, whether you make more money or not, it shouldn't make a difference. And if they have an issue with this, they have to work on it. And let's see the positive. If you're making money, it means that you can afford more things for you, your family, your future. So um, money is not the issue. It's how it is perceived in the relationship that is the, the issue. You know? Okay. Mirror. Everything that is happening in your external life is a reflection of your inner world. 
old habits. An old habit may be keeping you from moving forward. Yeah, the sort of self-sabotage might be also coming up here. You being fearful of actually getting to the next level, but it might be an unconscious blockage. So you got to work on it by making, you know, mirror work, affirmations, um, feeling worthy of what you're creating and putting value in who you are as a person so that it can become easier for you to manifest what you actually want. Karma. You may be involved in a situation that requires justice or fairness. Um, I feel th the karma card might come into um, inner child. You are currently healing an old emotional wounds. Yeah, because blockages usually it goes back to childhood and inner child work might be a good thing for you. What I was mentioning earlier is that karma in that sense, I feel, is that the lessons you're learning were necessary for your growth. I know that sounds a bit, you know, plain but I think that even though you, you might not feel so good about what's going on, what you've been through will make you an even more successful person because you had to learn the lessons and sometimes we had to, to learn the hard way. Unfortunately, I wish it could be otherwise, but sometimes it just hits and you got to learn from it and get back up, you know. Um, let's see what the message and the advices are for you. for group two. Oh, it came out. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a hug. I know it's been hard. I know it's been hard, sweetie. It feels that, you know what, you're, you might be in a sort of feeling like victim of your circumstances. Um, you know, when we see this little dude, we just want to hug him and tell him it's gonna be all right. So I think you've been put, put through a lot lately. So know that you're not alone and that your tarot reader friend on YouTube is telling you that you're just doing fine and you know and that it's gonna be it's gonna be all right you know take care of yourself you're not alone and um, you got to heal something here definitely yeah healing emotional healing that's what's required at this time so if your finances or your work is not looking too good go and dive like as we saw uh, inner child work mirror work self-esteem um, it's more than self-esteem it's uh, uh, confidence how to be more confident in and restoring faith in yourself in the future allowing emotions to be processed healthy like in a healthy way and if you haven't seen it I would highly recommend uh, from my playlist spiritual resources the video entitled remember who you are when I give you tools to work on a bodily level on issues you might be facing have you heard that I tell you, every time I record, there's something of that job. So for you, we have the freaking helicopter. So I think the message here is that help is on the way and uh, you got to help yourself. God helps the willing. So you need to start working on yourself, especially if you've been wounded like repeatedly. And you know, you need to break free from the pattern. Yeah, Ten of Swords. You need to break free and release rejection wound could be a strong thing here so you need to work on your emotional and mental health and this is a priority and this comes before your work before anything else your health comes first okay let's see what the charms have to say for you oh buddy got on the side r l Five, nine, Capricorn. Yeah, that's a Capy thing of wanting to push forward even at the expense of their own health what, because they're so driven by their goals. Sag Aries. And we have the throat, ch uh, yeah, th throat chakra. Um, no, third eye chakra. So it's about restoring your intuition and learning to trust yourself and listen to yourself and to your body again. You need to get in tune and tap into your body sensations. 
So uh, a, a therapy that involves like body work, breathing work could be great for you. A bodily approach to healing, to emotional healing would be great for you at this point. All right, group two. Well, I hope that was out of service. Take good care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one. Oops. Group three. Oh, consolation. Okay. Rescue me. Na 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 na. Rescue me. Na 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 na. Girl, I love you. And I need you. Okay, I think it's Aretha Franklin. Rescue me. Okay, so universe has heard your prayers. Hold on tight in here. Oh, now the sort of uh, seagull, like sort of um, south of France and I guess Mediter Mediterranean uh, crickets. I don't know how you call it, seagull. Seagull? Or? Not seagull, huh? seagull. Um, it's like the crickets from here and they're singing now. Which is pretty bizarre because it's night time. So for you, like I say, always weird things happening when I do the readings. For you, it's the seagull. You might want to check out this um, this insect. Seagull is uh, you can trans. I don't have my phone, so seagull is the word in French. It's C I G A L E seagull, and um, you might want to check what this insect means, like on a more kind of. Um, spiritual shamanic approach let's see for you group three what's going on what is it about to transform it's funny because you're the ones that I think if you chose or you're hesitated between pile one and pile three pile three is the continuation of pile one it seems or there's something that um yeah damn you see so it's because you're about to get somewhere Ooh, betrayal we don't like that Uh, something is not turning quite right here. Oh, I don't like having to give you those type of news. Actually, I take it back. I don't think this is linked to pile one. Because it's about... Okay. See, it might be linked to Pile 1, actually. Because if I do recall, Pile 1 was all about shitty relationships or having really lousy, petty partners. Wanting to break free from that because you met... A, you're about to meet or you met someone really special. And it feels that here, the continuation is that it's getting to reach the goals, finding the support you need. However, it feels that friends or people close to you or your ex, if you got the cray cray ex from hell, they're going to try to, you know, sabotage whatever you're trying to do. So I think group three, keep it really low profile, very low key. Don't talk about your goals. Don't talk about what you're doing. Don't talk about your work. Don't don't talk about anything personal to people that you don't fully trust. And even those who trust, keep it low. Keep it low profile. Basically, keep it all to yourself until the deal is like the contract is signed. Until you're sure about the what you want to do next. About you're sure that you're done with your ex. Like very low profile. Because if you talk too fast things can turn up against you and people will try to throw you under the bus. But you're going to get there because we end up with profound happiness. So it's going to happen. But you have to keep it to yourself and really work. And just um, take 
the how do you say uh, how do you say that in English assume that that you're the only one who has your own interest best interest at heart and that others might not without becoming paranoid obviously but I feel the betrayal with the wicked men and the rich women could be that it could be your ex starting to team up with a friend of yours maybe a really close friend of yours a male friend to try to use him and manipulate him um, to, to be able to get info about you to try to push you under the bus so there's a woman not to be trusted or a man not to be trusted but they're sort of this they're 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 um, they're partnering up to kind of set you up be careful yeah i told you i don't i don't like her corrupted woman dissoluted so t maybe some people are going to show their true colors because of a woman and i'm really talking a woman here who will try to fuck things up for you and screw your entourage be careful yeah and she's this person is mentally not balanced in their head they might have de they might be dealing with like mental issues like properly even if they are they're not diagnosed i feel this woman is not healthy in the head and she will do anything to turn people against you because she's maybe in pain or she felt betrayed by you what you did to her especially if you broke up with her or you ditched her or whatever or in the workplace if you go got the promotion and she wanted it or you you gave you gave the promotion to somebody else and one person working for you an employee cannot really swallow that be careful it's the the issue here is a woman that will that will team up with a man and probably someone you know to try to really put put you to the ground oh it could be a family thing too ah oh, that's even nastier especially if there's money involved here and family issues be careful there's a woman not to be trusted in the mix a horrible stepmom or something like this yeah, you, you're about to learn things. Yeah, the the su the end is soon in the sense that the person that are wanting to harm you or that don't have your best interest at hearts will be revealed. They will they will reveal themselves very soon. Some of them will try to um, kind of make amends and try to repair the shit they've caused. Probably maybe your friend. If it's a good friend of yours that got completely, or a brother, or a brother-in-law, or something that got completely sucked in their crazy world, like your this woman's craziness, but some are never gonna apologize and were dishonest since the beginning. You just didn't know about it, so you're really gonna see who, who your true friends are, and who's not on your side. Wow, this is like a movie or something. Let's see what the advice is for you. I can see I can tell by witnessing it by experience men can be ruthless women can be like next level like psychopath seriously because they're sleeker they're more intelligent than men I'm sorry but it's what I've witnessed most of the times they they can do a lot of damage okay let's see So for group three, pile three. Soulmate. This relationship is a match made from heaven. You know what's going to steer all that shit? I think you should definitely watch pile one if you came and you hesitated between pile one and pile three. Because this is it. You know what's going to trigger all that kind of avalanche, you know, this, this storm of shit, like just pouring through your life? It's actually a cleansing storm because by finding true love and being in a loving, kind relationship with someone, you're going to see everything that was dysfunctional, dysfunctional and not loving in your life. That means also the people that did not have your best interests at heart. This is going to be maybe a cold and rude awakening, hard awakening, but it's by meeting this special person or having this person that loves you deeply in your life. 
even if you're at a distance, maybe it could also be a good friend that's from your soul family that will show you how people are actually behaving and treating you. And this is going to like create like a massive storm. Yeah, support team. Two minds are better than one, three minds are better than two, and four minds are unstoppable. Visionary, you are learning to synthesize all of your creative ideas into action. So you're going to meet people or someone, if it's love interest, or if you've already met them, you're already with this person, they're going to open up your eyes. I think the support team might also be your spirit team, like if you do believe in ancestors and all that. Some people are going to sh show you by like comparison 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 um what is healthy and what is not and i think this is going to be mind-blowing for you yeah past life connections you are currently healing past life wounds definitely makes parting ways it's time to move from one person or situation so the karma and the people you're dealing with the cray cray women that might be involved here it's a karma thing you need to clean that up so that it's over but yeah there's a lot going on here but you're supported, thank God, because that's not an easy thing to deal with. Okay. Let's see what else. What What is the advice for you? I'm curious, what does Path 3, what do they need to know? Because what is going to be the message for you guys? Because... Five of Wands, you got to fight for your own. Yeah, you need to push away negative energies and people. Clean, clean. What do I hear? Clean. Um, getting out of denial. Healing. Wow, hope it is. Oh, there's a lot for you to unpack. Okay, well, basically, it's you need to fight for what's right for you. Like, you need to stand on your own and do what's right for you. Get out of denial as fast as you possibly can. Stop trying to push away your intuition because it's not helping. It's a, t a period of time you're, you're entering a massive, very deep healing period of your life. And you see how there's like snail one that could be you and snail one and two. You're not alone. So you might be surrounded with people that will help and assist you in this healing process. Because it's, it's going to be very hard to do it alone. Unroot yourself from something that's negative and toxic. Definitely the toxicity, you moving away from something toxic. And the death card is really kind of... You know, the fine, the grand finale, like being able to, you see how she has this very sharp thing in her, in her hand. I don't remember the English term. I actually don't even remember the French term. What's that? In faux, um, faucille. Basically, it's here to cut. So something is about to be cut. And you're the one who's going to cut the, the negativity, I think. It's wrapping up karma too. For me, the death card in this scenario is wrapping up karma and cutting ties with people that you no longer vibe with. Alrighty, that's intense, man. That's a lot of things that you have to deal with. Okay, the charms. Oh la la, heavy on the charms. We have the heart chakra. We have the sacral chakra really going for what you want aquarius libra b t throwback b t l e a n r a a f d love love so yeah there's really a soulmate energy here finding a soulmate one eight nine Five, five, eight, eight. You might want to check out the angel number five, five, eight, eight. So you might be involved with someone called Lauren, Laura, Lara, Anna, 
Ra is also an Egyptian god, you might want to Google that. Learn. So you're learning, this is forcing you to learn lessons, maybe the hard way, but once you've learned it, we can move on. All right. Well, Group 3, thank you for spending this time with me. I hope that was out of service. And if you like this reading, you know what to do. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye.